What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Two Wheeled Rider YouTube channel. My name is Mario Orsini and in today's video I'm going to talk about some of the upgrades I've done to my 2021 KTM 890 Adventure R and what I think of them so far. Okay, for those astute viewers, you'll notice my gloves have changed while I did a video on the Climb induction glove and how it's my favorite summer glove of all time. It still is, and I did not wear the other ones out. However, I do like this new color scheme. It's kind of cool. Uh, I, I lost one of my gloves, so I had to get a new set, but they were holding up great after probably 20, 25,000 miles on them, so I'm still sticking with them. One other quick thing I want to touch on when it comes to uh, upgrades, modifications, not really an upgrade or a modification. I do want to point out there was recently a recall on the Continental TKC 80 tires, which come stock on this bike. The rear tire for any of you guys is not under recall. The front tire may be, so contact uh, Continental to uh, find out. Today is June 10th. It's probably going up a week or two later. I already contacted them. My front tire was under recall. I got a brand new one. Uh, today uh, they'll give you a case number really easy to work through and while I did and it's already mounted on the bike did that earlier today and while I did have a brand new TKC 80 to put on the rear because after a little short of 2600 miles the rear tire was pretty much shot uh, I decided not to put the 80 on the back for right now because I had a Dunlop Trail Max Mission or trail yeah I think that's the name of the tire Dunlop Trail Max Mission tire sitting in the garage with about 2,500 miles on it that I had on my 990 when we did the Mid-Atlantic BDR and I put that on the back. Tyler and I are going to go out riding this weekend, uh, a decent amount of adventure riding, uh, you know, a lot of a lot of dirt gravel. So uh, I'll give you a report back on how this combo does, but for tonight's video, we're not really going to discuss the uh, tire combo. So as we get into a little mild off-road, just a nice little gravel road, uh, there are four things I want to discuss, but I really just want to key in on three of them. Uh, and, and the one I'm not really going to key in on too much tonight is the canister delete. Uh, I put that video up not too long ago. There's really no performance upgrade or anything for that. It just It's a little bit of weight savings. And in my opinion, it's one less failure point. While there was a YouTube comment saying that some guys that had some bad dongles that came in from Rottweiler that they read on the forum. I'm, I'm not a guy that's on the forums. I, I think I have like eight total posts on ADV Rider and it's normally just buying stuff off of there. Um, anybody, you know, anybody going on forums normally has a problem. Uh, basically what you're doing is, you know, Plugging in a dongle, it's got a little resistor in it, it just fools the computer into thinking the SAS system's still attached. So uh, for me, I, I you know I enjoy having that on there. I've got that on all of my KTM adventure bikes, just less points of failure on the bike, but you're not really looking at any sort of performance upgrade. Another video that I did recently was upgrading the steering stabilizer. And you know, I mentioned I already had the bar risers on the bike. And I was able to put this Scots on here because I had one lying around. I just needed a tower pin and a plus eight millimeter arm. And I'm going to be showing you guys footage, not just from right now, but from, you know, the last few rides. Tyler and I went out a couple weekends ago and, you know, got into some fairly gnarly stuff. I don't know how much of it I recorded, but I can tell you the upgraded steering stabilizer definitely made a difference for me. You know, riding on stuff like I'm riding on tonight might not make that you know you might not really notice it but i do like the adjustability of the scots and you know if that's something you're interested in you want a better steering stabilizer i would highly recommend it um you know if you're willing to spend the money on it i do notice this dunlop spinning up a little bit more than what my old tkc 80 rear was but uh have, have a little bit of fun tonight um the other two big upgrades i did to the bike and you know i've put whoa deer um i put a little less than a thousand miles on the bike but the the first uh five six hundred were you know basically all stock aside from some bar risers and you know a couple little things the previous owner had put on the bike but the performance upgrades really came from me and 
the two biggies are the Rottweiler air intake and the the cat delete. So the Rottweiler air intake, I rode that before I did the cat delete. Oh my goodness, what a difference that makes. Now, just from the overall reliability standpoint, having a reusable foam air filter, I feel like is a is a really big advantage over the paper. Nothing wrong with paper, it'll it'll filter. The other nice thing about it is, is you can just pop the seat off and see if you need to clean your filter up or re-oil it or, or clean it, re-oil it versus the paper. A uh, little, little bit more to that to get to it. And I don't know that I'd necessarily trust the service intervals because if you're doing a lot more off-road riding or you're, you know, you're riding with groups and you're riding in the middle or back and you're facing a lot more dust, eh, you're probably going to have to change a little more often. The paper's a throwaway versus the foam that you can reuse many times. And then there's the added horsepower gains, which, you know, Rottweiler's got dynoed out at like 10 horsepower at 6,300 RPMs. And there's a nice little bark to it when you put it on. You know, I've got, well, at least on the 1290, I've got the Rottweiler and I have a basically the same damn thing on the uh, 990. I really enjoy it. And if you want a little bit more out of the bike, I would still recommend it, uh, riding it in stock form first before doing that, you know, get the break-in miles on it. But I'm definitely enjoying it, uh, having, that, having that air intake on here. Okay, so you probably noticed the transition there, and that's because I was playing around with this rear tire, spinning it up a little bit, just having some fun with it. It, uh, it's a controllable spin. I've got it in rally mode, so it, it's, uh, it's kind of fun, something a little bit different. Uh, anyway, last thing I wanted to touch on was, was the cat delete. The, yeah, anybody that's bought one of these bikes, especially if you're coming off one of the V-twin models, notices the sound is, isn't good. It's just a, it's just not a good sound. Uh, just by putting the mid pipe on, not even, you know, I kept my stock silencer on. If you guys watched that video, if you haven't, I'll link it up there in the corner. And I think there's a timestamp in there to, to check out the sound difference. It is a little louder, but the biggest thing you're going to notice is the type of sound you hear. It's a, it's a little bit more, you know, low end rumble. To me, it just sounds better. Obviously, you know, that's subjective. Uh, there is a little bit more pickup on it in, in the mid-range. And, you know, the other big thing for me is it just gets rid of all that heat that, that you know, that's coming off the cat because you've replaced it with the mid-pipe. So I'm not telling you guys to go out and modify your motorcycles and spend, you know, another $1,000 on them. If you like them in stock formation, just keep them in stock formation. But... I did want to share with you, you know, some of my thoughts on some of these upgrades that I've done to the bike. To me, uh, at least so far, they've been worthwhile. Haven't had any issues out of anything and uh, been pretty happy with it so far. So anyway, guys, those are my thoughts on the upgrades I've done to the bike. Love the Rottweiler air, air intake on it. It sounds awesome. It runs great. Love the, uh, the mid pipe obviously you got the weight savings on there but also it sounds so much better and it's a lot cheaper than doing a slip on i'm not saying one's better than the other but i'm pretty happy with my decision and then obviously the steering stabilizer the canister leak do what you want to do with it as for the tires i still got to finish breaking in the front tire on this get it scrubbed in a little bit before tomorrow's ride and I'm definitely liking that Dunlop because it's kind of fun to spin up out here on the gravel. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, considering that subscribe button because if you like motorcycles, well, this is the place to be. If you have any additional questions about the stuff I've done to the bike, let me know down in the comment section below. I'll do my best to answer them. I'll also link the install videos to the upgrades, modifications I've made. And as always, I'll talk to you again soon.